Welcome back to Rob's Spot, guys. In today's video, we're going to be going to the Exotic Fish Hub to show you guys a project that I've been working on. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. And before we get further into the video, this video is sponsored by Timu. Now, they sent me a lot of products for the setup that I'm going to be showing you guys today. But before we get into that, I want to give you guys an update on the African cichlids that we caught and added into the 100 gallon aquarium. Now, before we continue, we're going to do a quick little feeding and update of all the stuff we built at the new house so far. So we got the African cichlids right here. I'm going to drop in some pellets for them. These guys have been doing incredibly well. Now, it's still been re relatively cold outside, so they're not growing as fast as they could be. But in time, when the weather heats up again, they'll start growing again. And now Timu sent me some products for the new house for some of the builds. They sent me a lot of little aquarium stuff like this so we're going to be going to the exotic fish hub today to catch some eastern happy cichlids to hopefully start a breeding project but one of the coolest things they sent me in today's video was this underwater camera i'm going to show you guys how it works on the platy pond so let's hop over to the platy pond real quick feed them and then i'll show you guys the fish room in the garage show you what we built so far we're a little bit ahead i'll show you guys how we got to that point but for the time being we're going to test out the underwater camera and Show you guys a little feeding. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that boy put <laughs> I'm fing with the wordplay. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. The punctuation, everything nice. Alright, guys, and so this is the 150 gallon platy pond. We went to the abandoned fountain the other day and caught about 60 platies for this pond. And we also have Wilson in this tank. And Wilson, I have not seen in a while. I believe he's still in the pond. He, we saved him from the burned down house. But we're gonna drop in some food in here real quick, and then I'm gonna show you guys this underwater camera because it is really, really cool. So I'm just gonna drop in some pellets in here. I don't know. I still have not seen the platies eat it like as soon as I drop it in. It's been a couple of days, so you'd start to expect that, but they haven't done so. Regardless though, I do wanna show you guys this right here. This little gadget right here is an underwater camera and I actually got it because I found a monster red tail catfish when you guys hit me up and i've been trying to game plan how to get video of it swimming in the pond because it is massive but if you guys look right here look at that i don't know if the glare is too bad but this camera right here like <laughs> we can see everything so so we're gonna test out this little underwater camera real quick you can see the color on it isn't the greatest but when you drop it in the water you could see everything in the water oh <laughs> if you zoom in you could actually see a lot of the platies down there. I think they're on the food we just dropped in. The video quality of it is not the greatest, but it is still an incredibly unique gadget that we got from Timu right here, guys. So if you want to get some last minute Christmas shopping done, there is a link in the description for that. You guys could get a pretty good deal to get some last minute uh, Christmas shopping done. But now that that's out of the way, guys, I want to show you what we've been doing in the new fish room. I'm a couple, I'm like a day ahead of you guys right now. So we'll jump back in the Path. show you guys how we got to this point but now let's go show you some of the aquarium flies bro yeah i was looking at them <laughs> i was wondering if they was comfy because i see your feet sliding off <laughs> yeah, look, getting broken in right now. no they look nice though all right guys so now we're in the fish room and as you can see i've gotten a lot of progress done on the 40 gallon breeder rack so you guys will see how we got to this point and at the end of the video you'll see the finished product i'm not quite done with it yet but we're getting a lot of progress made so that when we get that 300 gallon tank cleared out all that space cleared out and ready to go we can build a stand for it and put it into the house and i actually already have some fish in the fish room guys that will be in the next video after this one so make sure you like and subscribe we actually did some insane stuff the fish bunch of little monster fish grass insane but this is the rack right now it's going to be able to fit eight 40 gallon breeders and i could probably even go up a level if i really chose to do so and put down like another four or five but today's video guys the plan is to set up one of these tanks to catch some a breeding colony of eastern happy cichlids so we're gonna head out to the exotic fish hub right now i already set a fish trap we're gonna check it and i left it there for 24 hours guys all of this has already been done and recorded so we're gonna jump back in the past and i'm gonna show you guys up until this point right now so these are the shelves i'm going to be buying guys the tank itself even full of water and substrate will not be 800 pounds first shelf i'll probably only use four shelves out of the five and honestly i did smack myself in the face with one of the shelves when i was first lifting it up but we're good to go you're gonna get these back to the house get them set up get the tanks on them and now i'm assembling the shelving unit and i'm getting the 40 gallon breeders onto the shelves as i do it just so i could get a gauge of how high i want the brackets to be and this is basically what it's gonna look like now i don't know 
I think it'll be fine. There isn't really much sport down there. I might even throw wood around it, but for the time being, we're just gonna get assembled. I don't know if we're going to set one of these up today. We might do it because of the sponsorship with Timu. I kind of feel like setting up a tank with the equipment they send. Got a little bit of this assembled, guys, and I'm gonna be honest, this looks like a really ineffective use of the space. I think it would be a lot better if I just took some wood and cinder blocks and just laid it across, to be honest. Because this, I'm only getting three tanks in a four by six foot space. That makes no sense. Uh Oh guys, I think I just found raccoon prints on the driveway. Let me know what you guys think, but we should definitely be mindful of that. Mission accomplished, but now I gotta buy a bunch of wood. Apparently Lowe's doesn't have any complete cinder blocks. So right now I just got these for the ground foundation and then this for the rack itself. Now we're at the trap location where we're going to be setting a fish trap to hopefully catch some Eastern happy cichlids and jewels. They both live at this location. I've caught them both here before. So we're going to set a fish trap and leave it here for around a day, maybe 20, a full 24 hours and see if we could catch any fish. Now I got to make a little rig here with this fish food because these sinking pellets are super small and the fish trap that I have on hand right now is a little, little wide for these pellets. So I'm going to make like a little plastic baggie right here and I'm going to do it <laughs> using the Timu packaging i'm gonna literally just try to like zip tie a little goodie bag full of the fish food and poke holes into it so that when we throw that in the trap it lasts longer and hopefully we catch more fish i think that's where we went wrong with the platy pond where we trapped it and left it for like two days i think it ran out of food and the fish just got disinterested so we're gonna get that done and then i'll set the trap and we'll get back to the house so this is how we're rigging up the fish trap i'm just gonna leave the zip tie like this i didn't have any of my tools but this little plastic bag you can see i poked some holes in into the trap just like this hopefully no turtles come around here and mess it all up but now we're gonna throw the trap and set it in here oh look there's one right there eastern happy so the cichlids tend to like this area so i'm just gonna throw it in here it doesn't really matter where i just hope it's here and we we're able to find it tomorrow um no turtles take it or anything of that nature we're now back at the exotic fish up guys and it looks like our trap might have been tampered with it's a lot closer to the bank than i remember it being and i also don't actually remember it being in this spot but regardless we're gonna pull the trap and see if we caught anything all right guys oh <laughs> wait yo there's a cichlid literally hanging out of our trap right now hey yo how how did you get in there, buddy? But luckily it is a target species. It is a happy Easter, Eastern happy cichlid. So we're gonna get these guys out, out of the trap. Oh, we got a couple nice males in here. Oh yeah, oh, dude, this is perfect for starting up our little breeder colony. We got some mollies in there. I don't know if there's anything else too exotic and it looks like we even got a little baby Eastern happy cichlid. So we're gonna get all these guys into the keeper bucket with some water and get these guys back home ASAP. I'll probably end up grabbing a net too to dump the trap out into, but we'll get these guys into this keeper bucket real quick with some of the leaves. So this is the net with everything that was in our trap. Dude, we caught a serious amount of males. We got four nice males. Now, I don't know how many females we got, but we'll get the males into our little keeper bucket for sure. These guys are definitely very valuable to our little breeding project we're doing. So we got these guys, four beautiful males, get them in here. I see one, two, get them in there, three. This might be a baby male even. Female so far, four, five, maybe six. I think I might've miscounted. Seven females. So seven females and four males plus this little baby guy. Hopefully the little baby guy doesn't get bullied, but we're gonna get all these guys into a 40 gallon breeder back home. But before I do that, I also gotta finish the rack to put them on. So we're gonna get all these mollies and other stuff in there back in the canal. I didn't see any other spicier fish, but we did successfully catch some Eastern happy cichlids. We're now back in the fish room after catching some of the Eastern happy cichlids and I'm ready to set up a tank with the stuff that Timu sent. I am not going to do too much with escape. We're literally just going to be throwing in some of the structures they gave me, actually all the structures, just for the time being while I can run out to the store in another video and actually set up some tanks properly because I cannot finish the rack tonight in today's video, I know it's a kind of a letdown, but trial and error, I never actually like plan things out. I just get a thought and I just try to do it. But this is what the rack is looking like right now. So basically the issue I'm running into at, at the moment, I was able to get away with doing the supports like I did on the bottom because the wood would have, you know, acted the way it does. But what happened was, is with the top, I don't have that same kind of width because I'm only going off of one block and I don't have this space to bring these out. Actually, I might. You know what? Scratch all of that. I just realized I could totally move both of these planks further out. And then I would just have to sit one of the tanks on this end for the time being while I get a cinder block tomorrow. And then that way we could set up the Eastern happy cichlids in one of these tanks. I didn't realize that. Don't try to emulate the things I do. Do as I say, not as I do, because I do some sketchy shit and I'm about to do some more sketchy stuff. Why? 
because I'm tired and I want to set this up. And doing it this way, it kind of lines up perfectly. You know, honestly, I'm not too confident in this. I'm going to wait until I can get out tomorrow and grab some more cinder blocks so I can support the middle of these beams. I just feel like this is just too much, too much weight for the center of this. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys the quick little scape I just set up. So for right now, this is what it's gonna look like. I'm going to add in those pieces we got from Timu as like little accents to the tank and then add our starting colony of Eastern Happy Cichlids into the tank. We're probably just going to be using these two hides right here. This piece of wood, we might end up throwing into the 120 gallon tank to see if this actually will grow. I'm pretty sure these are almost like chia seeds where once hydrated in sunlight, they will grow. But these two cichlid hides right here are gonna be perfect for that tank. So now all there is left to do is this guys is find some nice little spots to put it. I think we're gonna put the hides near the front just so that if a fish actually goes into them, we'll be able to see whether or not they're hiding in there. And since this is just like kind of open and there's no caves or anything for them, we'll just throw one right there so now i'm gonna get this filled up with some water and get these guys added into the tank and just like that guys the tank is completely set up for the breeding colony of eastern happy cichlids i'm gonna catch them all out hopefully in one net oh almost but we got all these eastern happy cichlids now in this net i'm just gonna release them right into their new tank it's dechlorinated and everything and it's gonna be really interesting to see how these wild caught eastern happy cichlids adjust to their new home we got a couple stragglers right here Got two of them, last guy, boom, there we go. Just like that guys, we got a brand new tank in our first starter colony of these Eastern Happy Cichlids. They got a sponge filter in the back for aeration and filtration. And the tank is looking pretty good. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. Don't forget to check out the Timu link that linked down below to get yourself some Christmas presents and for those of you who might need to still do some Christmas shopping. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you did, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.